Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Renegade Operative, and I am bringing you a little something different. This is a following gameplay analysis of Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition and what moves are in Virgil's repertoire that we have seen and that we haven't seen. The following gameplay was taken from some event apparently. I haven't taken enough time to research what this event was, but it brought us some silky smooth new gameplay mechanics from Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition with Virgil's inclusion. Now, the following video will contain technical terms, so if you're not a hardcore fan of Devil May Cry like I am and you don't know what these moves mean or their properties, I'll explain a little bit on the side as the video progresses. Also, another thing to note, I see people saying that Virgil is overpowered. I want you to keep in mind that the player is actually playing Super Virgil, and what that means is Super Versions of characters usually has unlimited DT, which is unlimited double trigger, and double trigger is like just a little power buff that you have, it increases your health, it makes you stronger and faster, and unlimited double trigger is triggered on during this gameplay footage. So. Enough with the describing, let's begin and let's dive in into what we see in the footage itself. Here we see Virgil firing Summon Swords and Summon Swords acts like Virgil's gun in DMC3 and DMC4 Special Edition where they are used to skewer the enemy and also create barriers around yourself for protection. It looks like Summon Swords can be rapid fired again, so I would not be surprised if Summon Swords actually requires a level 3 as it did in DMC3, where you can actually purchase upgrades for it to increase the number of swords that you have to embed in a demon. If you guys have been following the announcements and details that went into Devil May Cry Special Edition with the adding of some things and the removal of some things, it's unfortunate to report that Virgil's main style in DMC3 Dark Slayer has been removed in terms of a more Grim Trick ability. What you have to do for Grim Trick to create perfect marking is you have to embed a summon sword in an enemy and Virgil will automatically gain the ability to teleport towards his enemies for further attacks or to probably even dodge attacks. I think that this is going to be mostly Virgil's bread and butter when it comes to certain air combos and offense. Rapid Slash makes a return here, only that it turns Virgil around facing the enemy. This move certainly appears to be fast and hard to catch when you really look at it at first, but it appears to be a Rapid Slash in Devil Trigger Mode, and Devil Trigger Mode usually adds more additional hits to attacks in DMC4 anyway, so I'm not surprised if this is the version that we're seeing here right now. We have a new move here, which appears to be very unique in the fact that it's a chargeable launcher that can go into something like Aerial Rave, and you see Aerial Rave perform here in the footage. For those getting lost in technical terms, Aerial Rave is just Virgil's regular Yamato combo in the air, and Rapid Slash is a forward clearing technique similar to Dante's Stinger that can clear a large amount of enemies directly in front of you. This piece of footage here is unique for several reasons in the fact that the enemies that are embedded with swords manage to explode after Virgil does his technique. I'm assuming to believe that the summon swords have a lot more to them than meets the eye. This is an attack I really love to discuss as this is totally something new that we haven't seen at least in terms of Virgil. It's a new area of effect attack which goes full screen and kills everything on it with the mere charge and full devil trigger. Now if you've been following along with the updates of DMC and how Virgil operates, you would know that the concentration meter which is the blue bar on top of the health is something that makes him stronger throughout the course of battle. The better you perform, the more S ranks you get, the higher you go without getting hit, the stronger you'll become all the way up from level 1 to level 3. 
I would personally imagine in order to have a move this powerful and devastating in your arsenal that you need a level 3 concentration bar so you have to have your Virgil at level 3 without getting hit and you have to have some good S ranks on you and you also need to have double trigger activated to pull off something that's devastated. I have no idea how something like this could affect bosses in a sense where you're doing so well and you can probably just I wouldn't imagine you could just one shot them like that because I don't think it would be that easy but I would imagine it would have the same amount of damage or if not worse than distorted real impact. Distorted real impact is a move that Dante could do where he would perform an uppercut and you can keep toggling the double trigger on and off to rack up more damage. I think that this is going to be probably Virgil's most powerful technique. You can originally only do stingers on the ground as far as I know with Dante, but now you can perform them in the air with Virgil. It has shorter range according to Capcom, it's not really that far, but the fact that you can perform them in the air is nice, and the fact that you add double trigger in there and get your two additional hits, I'm pretty sure that'll appease all the people that are into jump canceling and combo ending. As we see here, the player switches to Force Edge, and we see our first Force Edge combo, which looks like a very Slash Dimension-esque technique that ends at the end of it. So, it's also interesting to note that the Concentration Meter is also used, and this attack also depletes it, which means it's very possible that the Concentration Meter may very well tie into combos. This little clip might be rife with subtlety, but it's important to note that concentration meter can actually be built manually for the player to use at his own volition. We also see that the player activates spiral swords here, which is supposed to be used in the combos. It's also used to damage enemies that try to surround you. It appears that blistering swords, an attack that can be used to focus and home on an enemy, can now be performed outward. Here's another crazy little maneuver that seems new to only DMC4 Special Edition. It appears that Virgil takes the spiral swords and he rains them down on an opponent that causes a spiral rain if you will and it damages the nearby enemies with the AoE effect. We all know when it comes to Devil May Cry, it's all about being a badass and this is no different. So. Take a moment to relish in the fact that you can do some new badass taunts and what Virgil has is a new spinny spinny take on Stylish. He swings around his summon sword around his head and it also damages nearby enemies that comes around it. I assume when it comes to things like scarecrows it'll do some nice little minor damage and it'll get your S rank up a little bit. Here we have another new attack for Virgil which is very much reminiscent to an attack Dante did with Agni and Rudra, which I will show you right here in DMC3. Now what you just seen is an attack called Just Stream, where Dante runs towards the enemy and he goes towards the enemy with swords blazing. And this attack is very interesting for Virgil for several reasons, it'll get you a nice little amount of meter as well as lets you plan out your next course of attack especially if it stuns enemies a little bit off balance so it's very interesting to see such an attack like this for Virgil and it's very interesting to see that they're bringing back a lot of mechanics from DMC3 that originally weren't in DMC4 to begin with. Aw shit! Million Stab is back baby and is back with a vengeance. Kick 13 returns yet again for Virgil's Beowulf form. What this attack does is it's a flurry of kicks that usually ends with the enemy in the air. About this time in the footage, I can clearly analyze a flurry of judgment cuts performed in close range quarters. It's interesting to note that the judgment cuts require less of a charge time as opposed to his original predecessor in DMC3. Another interesting thing to note is that judgment cuts can now be performed in midair. The Judgment Cut was originally a spherical orb that was used in DMC3 that you could hurl at nearby enemies. The fact that I like that you can use it in close range combos makes it look like a more effective move than it's ever been before and this is a change that I wholeheartedly accept and welcome as my combos get more and more stylish with this tactic that I can use without less of a charge. 
as the footage goes on, it's still apparent that the player still has your model equipped. It seems that right here, this particular point, the player now performs a rapid slash that goes in midair. I assume that this attack will be very useful against things like Metaphistos, where you need to knock the cloaks off of them in order to really truly get some damage going. Touching back up on Summon Swords, we see here very briefly that two techniques from DMC that were used to hail the swords out in an attack has returned. Blistering Swords and Sword Storm now makes a return back in DMC4 Special Edition. In the addition to that, it also seems that Summon Swords can weaken a Blitz Shield so we can use that to our advantage. And that is the end of all the footage that I've analyzed from this event where DMC4 Virgil was shown off. How I feel about it is I am in good optimistic hopes. I think that even though it's very lame that Virgil had the Dark Slayer style taken away from him, they added plenty of new additions and things that were copy and paste carbon from Dante that probably might help his playstyle in the long run. I can't judge the game yet because I don't have it in my hands, but from what I've seen personally of this gameplay, I will rate it very fast, very furious. I think that the concentration mechanic is a nice little bonus to high level players who like to have stylish ranks all the time. It awards those stylish ranks with high level power and damaging and devastating attacks that can clear the entire screen. It's just icing on the cake for those who like to be stylish majority of the time. In the end, I feel motivated to play this game and I cannot wait until it's launch in the summer. This is Renegade Operative signing off. I hope you have a pleasant one. And if that wasn't a reaction enough of being motivated, this is pretty much more of a visual presentation of how I feel. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh,